blue when weighing 171 pounds. As an amateur, he accumulated nearly 100 victories. Oh, a big right hand, and left hand rather, and down. Goes. As a professional, he is a two-time world title holder. I was very surprised. Oh! With 39 victories, 24 by knockout, with five losses and a draw, he comes to this ring wearing one championship belt and plans to leave wearing three. Ladies and gentlemen, from Houston, Texas, here is the former middleweight world champion and reigning, defending IBF light heavyweight champion of the world, Reggie Sweet. Kamar Day and Kamar Jones from Roger Carver New Year. We're here with the champ, Edgy Johnson. How did you enjoy the fight tonight, next fight? Oh man, this was a great fight. Uh, uh, one thing I can say about the uh, next fight up there, they're the most con uh, sec uh, uh, consecutive uh, uh, promotional company. Uh, this, this was probably the best fight I've seen, you know, where the fighters were, all fights were competitive. Right. We had about five knockouts today. What do you think? Did you see all all five today? Yeah, I, I've seen, you know, I missed a couple of them because I had one guy, one of my protege's days fought, so I, I missed one of the knockouts, and uh, I think that knockout is the one that who won the thousand dollars. <laughs> best knockout of the night, and I hate I missed that, but even with having five knockouts, Think about it, how competitive those fights were before that one guy got knocked out. Right, right. You know, the fight was going either way. Right. That's why I say this is the most competitive fight, and this is what boxing needs, and this is what the fans need. So who's your protege, Chad? My protege was uh, Tuffy, the guy named Tuffy. Okay. He was the first fighter in the Right, right, yes, sir. Right, right. And uh, my last fight when I fought the late Julio Gonzalez, he fought on an undercard. Okay. Yeah, he's a lot better then because he knocked the guy out right there <laughs> in 2008. So, uh. Okay, so uh, we haven't seen you in a while just out in public. What have you been up to? Well, uh, I have a family business. Me and my sisters, we have a uh, consulting firm. I work on that. I'm just a brand name. They do the work, real estate. Uh, my, uh, my oldest daughter, she's uh, just finishing real estate too. So we're doing that, and we're doing some entertainment stuff. We got some stuff coming down the pipe. Uh, Forever a Champions World Tour, where me and uh, I got like uh, 100 plus world champions uh, in my database, and we're gonna just travel the world and connect with the boxing fans, doing charity work, talking, going back to South Africa where I fought. Uh, of course, London, England, uh, Spain, uh, and I got Australia also, and we're gonna definitely do it in, in the United States of America. That's fantastic. So, I gotta, I gotta say, you look fantastic, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like really, you do. What you finna say? I don't look a day over seventy-five. No, 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 no. I'm no, gonna say that. <laughs> no, maybe more like thirty-five. No, okay, that's Thank you. Yeah, maybe for like 35. So, do you still do any training or anything just to keep in shape? Well, you know what? One, at one time, I had a uh, partner who one of his fighters fought the night, who won the knockout night. He got that fight. Me and him had a gym together and we were promoting fights. But I got, got away from that uh, and I was training some fighters. But this is what I really want to tell you. We, I'm working with a group in Minnesota and some people in New York trying to establish a. Uh, Pension, union, mm -hmm. business structure for boxers. Mm -hmm. You know, you know the NFL, NBA, they got all that business structure. And boxing don't have it, and 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 you know we hear all the time about fighters living on the street. Right. You know, a lot of them have died late in there. We, we we've got to change this here, man. You know, boxing is the only sport where the uh, rats, you know, dictate and control the, the lions, and we got we got to change that. All right, that's long overdue, long overdue. So you obviously have a business. You were able to transfer all of that over. Right. Um, what kind of advice do you give young fighters as far as keeping their money, holding on to their money, investments, that kind of thing? Well, I, well first and foremost, you, you got to get your, uh, uh, your, your your parents involved. I, I, I don't want to speak this name, but I know a young fighter, uh, 
his parents didn't even see his country. Uh, uh, somebody like what Ray Leonard had with his uh, 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 lawyer and his team, you know, they they they, they you know they did it his way. Even and, and the guy I fought, Roy Jones, he did it his way. Uh, with what we've seen with the heavyweights and now with this right here, what do you think about the state of boxing as it goes forward from 2020? Yeah, you, you, you're not trying to uh, talk about that Deontay Wilder. <laughs> I want to talk about that because you know what? I picked Tyson Fury the first fight. I picked him the second fight. And, uh, you know, I picked him the third fight. Okay. It, 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 uh, that's a crazy white boy, and he ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> don't, don't you agree with that? I agree with that all. He's a big white boy, too. You know what? And I have a lot of love and respect, and I love Deontay Wilder, too, man, because what, he, what he's done, you know, the knockout, he came, you know, one fight that one fight away from uh, uh, breaking Ali's record and defending his world title. He's a great fighter, and great fighters come to see. And like I told the guy yesterday, uh, a couple days ago on the radio show, I say one thing I can say about Deontay Wilder, we're going to really learn a lot about him. See, can he come back from this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we don't want to take too much of your time. It's great seeing you. Keep up the great work. Keep being an ambassador for this sport. This man trying to shake my hand. I thought he was going to pay me. <laughs> it's a pleasure being with you, brother, man. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing, man. Hey, and one thing I'm saying, people talk about the MMA and all this stuff. Hey, the ultimate sport of boxing is the oldest one. Maybe we ain't going nowhere. The Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Email, tweet, photos, videos, videos. Let me share yeah. some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.